Well, it's February down on the plots. We've had about 16 different storms this winter. And it's also nine degrees today in February. Looks like it might be a full spring. But let's go and see how the uh, plots fared. Let's go and have a look. So today, we'll try and get the uh, brassica bed cleared up a bit, get the old cabbage stalks out. Not a lot of usable material really for anything to eat. Maybe some of the uh, kaylets can be salvaged, um, but we'll get that cleared up. As you see, we're doing some uh, hard work and a bit of digging today. Um, but things have been obviously a bit quiet on the plot. Very busy elsewhere in life at the minute. So obviously it's a bit of a chance to take the foot off the gas a bit. Get a few things sown at the house, such as the chilies and pepper plants, and get the uh, broad beans in, which we've done. We've done a few videos on those. I'll remember to put a link to the card above. If uh, you haven't seen the video on uh, some of the uh, sowings we've done in uh, late winter, um, but yeah, let's go and uh, get a bit of digging done. So a bit of a whistle stop tour this February. We missed January, unfortunately, because well, there's nothing growing. Uh, we had about 16 different storms from storm. Inez to Jocelyn to you name it we had uh, plenty of winds and cold weather lots of cold snaps so not really a lot of growing unfortunately but plenty of time to tidy up now the ground's thawed a bit and we've uh, given the uh, front section a bit of a tidy up I have to do the edging obviously on this bit because it's getting a bit tangly and we've given the uh, what was green manure we've had a little bit I think germinate I think that might be like a Bit of, I mean, obviously that one there is a weed, <laughs> but this kind of stuff was, I think, some of the green manure. The germination was really patchy. It might have been an old bag of seed, but also may uh, have been uh, too cold for the seed to germinate and sown far too late in the season. So another sort of green manure project, unfortunately, not worked. So we've not really got a great deal more. In this, uh, this is this kind of stuff, I think. That's a weed, maybe. <laughs> oh, no, that isn't. There you go. There's one. This stuff here. This was uh, some of the green manure. So, well, we've got a few little bits. And we'll give that a go over with a soil miller. We did the winter green manure over here, as opposed to the autumn green manure. Uh, and, unfortunately, again, that's not germinated either. So... Not a great success, but we have had a surprise, which is the elephant garlic. Now, I thought this had all rotted off and disappeared last year, but we've got a whole row of, I think, elephant garlic popped up. We'll try and keep that if we can. Is that a weed? We've then got the, uh, this was the chard, again, sown a bit too late after clearing this bed, but the raised sides have survived we've got the brassica net down keeping this a storage area for the minute over here we've started on this bed cleared the old beetroots out you can see very small not really much to speak of lots of movement gone mushy as you can see here this stuff had disappeared with the weather but this stuff some of these are all right might have a pick through those right i know it wasn't much to speak of but I thought a lot of these little mini beetroot were going to get very mushy over winter, but they're actually really still quite sound. So we did actually give them a bit of a rake up the other day, but they've not been, you know, all right. I think if we stick that in a little pickling jar, a few different colours and varieties there. Obviously some of them are not much to speak of, but the ones that are still firm, not damaged, obviously that one's a bit damaged, we might leave that one for the, for the crows. Some of them are alright, they're not a decent size. So yes, they were very close together, a bit too close together. If uh, it's too soft, that's too soft, yeah. I mean, some of these, are they're really too soft. So we'll have a sort of select choice we'll get maybe what one one jar out of it 
they were just far too closely planted no thinning yep see that's good decent size we'll get these out now before we have uh, any more frosts and then we've made a start on the brassica bed over here clearing up drawn up all the sort of weeds that were under the net i think this will be for potatoes this year but uh we'll give that a clear pigeons have had a field day on the tops it's a bit of a shame a couple of cavalo nero plants have survived pigeon feed for those but those ones have been not touched so i think we're lucky we might uh, a little mini harvest off that yeah some kalex still oh, looking nice actually put the uh, harvested those and put them in a kimchi which is super hot so we'll give that maybe another harvest <laughs> Yeah, we had uh, some nice cabbages out of this. Not loads though. Next, I think I'm gonna have a go at making just individual self-contained nets as squares next year. I'm not gonna have massively tall brassicas like the, the uh, Kalets. I'm gonna just have them about maybe that high. I can take individual boxed nets off Got some connectors online through gardening naturally, which hopefully shouldn't, you know, nice square rather than having to you know, build wooden structures. We've got the um, metal poles already, just the connectors to put things together and then use some nice strong net clips or some split PVC pipe to <sighs> some of these cabbages, they're not really worth much these cabbages so we'll just get them on the get them on the compost heap <sighs> yes next year I think we'll go back to well, what has it been two three years since we've done videos on the plots and I think either here or there was the first time we put potatoes in so bigger bed this actually so I think we might end up shifting the path slightly or combining two areas to get one nice big area for potatoes and other root crops next year so some plans in mind and we'll get hopefully we'll uh, get a better potato yield this year. Here we've got the garlic bed, put the elephant garlic down this end from saved seed and then down here we've got Kingland white. Hasn't actually shown yet the Kingland white but this one down here has so keep that weeded nicely fingers crossed given the good weed cleared all this made a good start on this chopped a lot down and i'm afraid i think i'm gonna repurpose the slats from the raised beds to uh, put further down much in the same way as we've done with the other raised bed section down there i'll try and get this cleared now that a lot is a lot more manageable there's less foliage to have to deal with but uh yeah doesn't look that pretty, I'm afraid. It's not uh, all nice raised beds and mulch and, you know, winter cabbage crops, but that's uh, the reality of our allotment in winter, unfortunately. So lots of prep to do. Do a bit of tidying up today, I think. So thanks for watching today on Beans, Brews and Bread. If you like what you've seen, we're grateful if you give the video a thumbs up. 
have any comments or suggestions or any hints or tips don't forget to write away down in the comments below and if you haven't already then you press the subscribe button which should be flashing below uh, you'll be notified the next time we'll uh, get a video out but thanks for watching in for the uh, box tour in february we'll uh, get a few videos out maybe a few bit more sewings as we uh, get ready for spring well thanks for watching today see you next time bye